Welcome to my course on PLC fundamentals. This is the seventh video and in this video we will be discussing the PLC wiring. For reference, I'm using an S7-1200 PLC. If you're using any other PLC, the methodology is pretty the same. Well, before starting the wiring or trying to understand the wiring of the PLC, we'll first understand the few symbols the L plus symbol and M are widely used in PLC systems. Well, L plus means plus 24 volt in, in this case, because the high signal in PLCs that we use is 24 volt, while the M means zero volt. So L plus and M are purely for DC voltages while L1 in N, this means AC power supply. And in my case, it is 1200, uh, sorry, 220 volt AC. L1 is the live wire, N is the neutral wire, simple. While M is zero volt and L plus is 24 volt. So, well, let me also tell you that wiring a PLC is important because to put a PLC into operation, you first have to supply the power to a PLC. Then you have to interface uh, input sensors and output devices with the PLC. And finally, will, you will have to program the PLC. And this is how a PLC will be set into operation. So, Let's start with the wiring concept first. Well, this is the S7-1200 PLC and as you can see on the nameplate, we have been written as a CPU 1214C AC-DC relay. Well, AC-DC relay, this means that the, the first term AC, it means that the PLC has to be powered with an AC supply, right? The second term, which is DC, it means that the input signals are 24 volt. For example, we want to interface a speed sensor. Well, the 24 volt supply, well, the L plus in this case, as written over here, we will connect a wire with this L plus channel and we will take the wire from this channel all the way to the sensor in the field or area and we will take the output of this sensor wire to any of the input connector or input channel for example we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Well, the, these eight channels for eight input signals. Similarly, we have six another uh, channels for six digital input signals. So a total of 16 digital input signals we have in this PLC for connections. And similarly, we have a total of uh, 10 digital output signals. It means we can connect uh, 16 digital input signals to this uh, PLC input connector and uh, a total of 10 digital outputs, 10 DO signals means 10 devices can be controlled digitally while over here we have a total of 16 digital input channels for 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 the sake of clarity ignore this uh, extension module right now i am just telling about the compact module that already it has it has 16 digital input signals and six and 10 digital output signals so Oh, coming back to the description AC-DC relay. Well, the AC means that the PLC has to be powered with an AC supply. The DC means that the input signals that 
or uh, being uh, interfaced with these 16 digital input channels, each is 24 volt DC. And the relay means that the output uh, channels, if it is, for example, set to high through logic, well, a 220 volt AC will be sourced through this particular channel. For example, this is the sixth uh, digital output channel that is being symbolized as five because by convention it starts from zero, one, two, three, four. So this is the sixth digital output channel and through logic, if we set it to high, that will mean that the 220 volt AC will be sourced through this particular channel and we can connect it to any contactor or relay for setting any device on uh, for example it be it a motor or an indicator limp or whatever you want to control so this is the explanation of ac dc relay ac means the power supply that we are going to connect to the plc is ac dc the input signals are dc and the output signals well the 220 volt will be sourced through that particular channel to the output through the output channels so now coming to the actual wiring well you can see over here on the plc that the l1 and n has been written and you can see the direction of the arrow that means that the plc has to be supplied with the ac power supply so for example we have a ac source well the live wire of the ac source will be interfaced with this particular l1 channel while the neutral wire will be interfaced with the N channel. Pretty easy to understand. While the earth may be connected to the third uh, channel that is written over here, that it is the N protection earth channel. Simple enough. So this is how we wire the uh, AC power supply to our PLC. Now you can see that over here it has been written L plus and M and the arrow is towards outside. That means that once we feed the PLC with the AC supply as we did over here, now this PLC has the L plus and M source as well. It means that we can use this L plus and M for connecting our input sensors for example in the field we have a sensor for example a speed sensor and that speed sensor has a plus and minus terminals what we will do to connect this speed sensor to our CPU we will take the L plus M well let me erase this L1 and N and Earth to make you guys understand how to interface the digital input signal that is coming from the sensor the field sensor to our plc digital input channel well suppose this is the speed sensor terminals plus and minus well the l plus 
is sourced from this PLC channel. We will take the L plus signal from this channel all the way to the field sensor that is speed sensor and we will sync the wire coming from the field to any of the channel. I synced it to the seventh digital input channel that is the that has been symboled as six because the names uh, the symbols start from zero one two three and all the way to the six so this is how we interface any field sensor to our PLC in case we want to interface any output device that we want to control for example we want to control any relay so the relay coil has to be connected with the any of the digital output channel this is the relay coil and the load can be set on once this coil is energized so this is how we wired or loop the output devices that is controlled through the output signal getting out of the PLC. So this is the brief video of wiring a PLC. We first wire the power supply, then the input signals that are coming from the sensors and the output devices that we are going to control through the output channel of the PLC. So if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you for now and see you in the next video.